The Department of Justice and Constitutional Development plays no role in decision making by the NPA on who to prosecute or, no, or, or, or not. The office I hold does not have a direct relationship in instructing or convincing the NPA on how to act on their mandate. On the matter of taking the loan, I've dealt with the allegations of conflict. And my understanding was that if you ask for assistance on someone who doesn't have a direct bearing or payment from the municipality, it is possible, and I repaid it back. When the president informed me that he is assigning me to this department, the issue of conflict of interest actually that crossed my mind was not this issue. It was an issue that I am on behalf of my family sitting in court on the case of my sister that the NPK, NPA has placed charges on allegations of murder too. That's what crossed my mind. I discussed it with the president as well. And we both came to a conclusion that it is a matter that is already sitting in court. I have got no say in it. It will live its life and it will come to its conclusion. And I decided that I will take the request by the president because I also do believe that's what even the person that I thought I shouldn't take the responsibility because of her would have wanted me to put the people of South Africa first. And it was on those basis that I accepted the request by the president. And having convinced myself that even in that case, I cannot, will not, will never be able to influence the NPA on how to do its work. And I wouldn't want to elaborate on the commitment I gave them in my first meeting on my willingness to assist and my willingness to be able to cooperate all the time on any needs that they have and work that they would want to do. Honorable Chair, thank you very much. The report, as I had said, uh, give a bit of more detail than the summarized uh, version that I had. And I would like to thank honorable members once more for the opportunity to come and talk to you. Thank you.